Oh my gosh. Hi. 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 I cannot stop talking about your show, Sex Lies of College Girls. Wow. I watched all the episodes back to back. I'm so excited you're here. Um, so you are from a family of artists. Everybody knows about your brother, Timothy Chalamet, but the really interesting thing. Yeah, you can whoop it yeah, up for Timothy. <laughs> okay. He's cute, but he's not here. She is. <laughs> um, you grew up in an artist colony? Yeah, it, it was a very special place to grow up in retrospective. While I was growing up there, I think sometimes I was a little overwhelmed by the fact that there were many different types of performing artists that lived there, and you would be hearing singing and dancing and uh, That must get playing. loud. It get very loud, and they have um, rehearsal hours in the oh. building. Like, I remember I used to take piano growing up, and uh, my grandmother lived in the building, too, and my mother would say, go practice at your grandma's. And I was like, okay. And then she's like, you have to go before the rehearsal hours end. What and happens when like, rehearsal hour ends? Well, then the security guard can get called if neighbors are like, somebody's still practicing piano. So and there's just like tap and singing and banging on drums. Until and then, like 10 p.m. Boom. And it's like done. Oh my God, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Did you always know that you wanted to be an actress? Um, I don't know. Um, I, I, like, I, 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 I did and I didn't. I went about it in many different ways. Mm -hmm. I had a long uh, path to getting. Well, you where played I am. the piano. I played the piano. And yeah. I heard from my friend Sarah Highland that you did the ballet. I did the ballet. I did ballet. Yeah, with Sarah when I was a kid. She actually, once we. Um, got, we would go together for pizza a uh -huh. lot after ballet or before, and she actually taught me that I could put Parmesan cheese on top of my pizza. Oh yeah, to, no, that's a um, classic. I didn't know that until Sarah. Well, you know, so. you, people in artist colonies don't learn that <laughs> exactly, kind of thing. Exactly. It's just, it's pretty exotic. Okay, <laughs> let's talk about your show though, The Sex Lives of College Girls. For those who haven't seen it, can you can you give like a little blurb? I, I can blurb it. <laughs> yeah. Tell us what it's about. Um, yeah, so The Sex Lives of College Girls is kind of a coming of age comedy show about, uh, that follows the lives of four girls and others mm -hmm. um, as they. Oh, they're dudes. Oh, I've seen it. <laughs> There's dudes too. As they navigate um, their, the beginning of their freshman year in college. So, what is it like to be in that beginning of. College when you're used to living at home and you think that you're an adult now, and but you're not. Well, uh, and you, <laughs> I, I watched it and I just thought, who is this woman? She is so brave because you play this kind of very quiet, um, smart but insecure uh, girl who came from a public school and is now at a college and is a little in over her head. And then, uh, well, lo and behold, Pauline has her clothes off. <laughs> How, I've done some love scenes in my life. What was it like for you to have to gear it down quite so much? Um, I just think I was naked a lot in college. It really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Like, oh, I wow. Wait, wait, I wait. was, like, I would take my clothes off a lot. I, okay. I just, I was, like, part of who I am. I don't know. So this was real easy for so you. So it wasn't that hard. I mean, also, we filmed during the pandemic, mm -hmm. um, which meant that I think there were maybe a few like fewer people on set, yeah. everybody's masked, mm -hmm. so you can't really see people's facial reactions. So no one was going like, uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, what were they gonna do? No, Some boom know. guy's like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> no, or like, you know, the fact that they can act so, people can act so normal, like, ah, oh, yes, just like another day taking her clothes off, and it's like, isn't it a little exciting? <laughs> like, come on, I'm right, doing it for you, kind of. But you can't see any of that. Well, um, I so. never knew that you were such a partier in college. I thought maybe you were a super nerd. Oh, no, no, I was not a partier. You're I just, just like, naked. I, I was like, ah, like, naked is nice. <laughs> I don't know if that tracks for me. <laughs> but regardless, in your honor, we're going to play a college drinking game called Flip Cup. Yeah. <laughs> Be right back with Flip Cup. We are back with Pauline Chalamet. Now it's time for us to play Flip Cup. Yeah. College drinking <laughs> games. So here's what we need to do. We each drink what's in the cup, and when we're done, we have to flip it over so it's on the, the big side, okay? Whoever gets through all the cups first wins. Are you ready? Yeah. Go. Okay.
I'm just winning. I just don't even know how I'm winning. Well, look at that. that I cheated so hard. <laughs> I cheated so hard. Wait, I did you really? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, it's all God. on camera. What? I cheated. Really? I'm sorry. This season one of Sex Lies of College Girls. I won. You fully won. Yes, I cheated. Won. Okay. Season one of the Sex Lies of College Girls is now streaming on HBO Max. I want to thank a very good sport, Pauline Chalamet and Terry Crews. I also want to thank my friend Ellen for asking me to host. And I want to thank all of you for watching. Have a great weekend. Bye.